Hello little monsters, welcome back to story time. Today we have Betty and the Yeti. Betty and the Yeti is a brilliant book for winter time because it's set in the land of snow and ice and Betty gets to meet some really cool arctic animals. So here we go. Betty has a little red sled where she takes wherever she goes. She pulls on ropes and flies down slopes, whether it freezes or snows. Betty finds things in the snow when she goes out to play. She puts them gently on her sled and goes on her way. What did she find here? Is that a little fox or a little dog? One day she found a pair of gloves. She put them on her sled and a jingly jangly fluffy hat, which she wore upon her head. Look, it's got bells. And when she saw some snowy boots as hairy as a bear, she tried them on her little feet and stamped from here to there. Then she found a woolly scarf all thick with twigs and leaves. And one enormous smelly coat that came right past her knees. That's a pretty big coat. Look at the little fox on the sled. It's all piled up. Do these clothes belong to you? Betty asked the polar bear. No, he said and shook his head. I don't need clothes to wear. I've got thick fur to keep me warm. I do not mean to gloat, but I have no need for hats and scarves, and I never wear a coat. Do these clothes belong to you? Betty asked the big blue whale. No, well said and shook her head and splashed her great big tail. I've got blubber to keep me warm, a special kind of fat. Though I do like those bells on that jingly jangly hat. Look at the foxes wearing the scarf. There's the big blue whale. Do these clothes belong to you? Betty asked an arctic hare. No, he said and shook his head. Ask that rock over there. What a strange thing, thought Betty, peering at the rock. But I've asked a hare and a polar bear, so I can't see why not. <gasps> Look at the footprints. Who do you think is behind the rock? Hello, rock, said Betty. The rock did not reply. Hello, rock, said Betty. The rock was very shy. But finally there came a voice that said to little Betty, I'm really not a rock at all. I'm actually... A Yeti! A Yeti! squealed Betty! And she tried to run away. But please don't go, the Yeti cried. I love it if you stay. <gasps> Look at Betty, she's really scared. Do you think it's going to be a great big Yeti? Yetis in the wild, you see, are rather shy and small. We have to wear a lot of clothes to keep us warm at all. My clothes are big and hairy. They give folks such a shock that I threw them all away and hid behind this rock. It's hard to make friends in the land of snow when you've scared them all the way before you even said hello. Look at the Yeti, he's in his underpants. 
Betty didn't fret at all. She handed him his clothes. You better put these on, she said, before it really snows. So the Yeti's putting his clothes on. His jingly jangly hat. You can barely see his face. She took his muddy glove in her little mitten hand and talked with him and walked with him across the frozen land. Soon they met Betty's friends in the cold and snowy night. And the hairy smelly Yeti, well he gave them such a fright. <sighs> Look, they're running away. But when they saw that Betty had a hold of Yeti's paw, they knew they didn't need to be frightened anymore. And the hare spoke up quite bravely in a loud and cheerful voice. I befriend the Yeti, given half a choice. What's that fox doing? He's been a little monkey on the sled. So Whale and Bear and Arctic Hare became the Yeti's friends, and the Yeti kept his clothes on and was never cold again. Betty made a hat like his, she wore it every day, and when she went on her sled, she jingled all the way. Betty's got a jingly jangly hat now, just like Yeti's. Would you make friends with a scary hairy Yeti? I would. So that was Betty and the Yeti. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, we absolutely love Betty. We think she's a brilliant character. She's really brave and she's kind. Um, we love all the other characters in the book. We think they're really funny. And we love how it's set in the snow. Uh, we love snow here and not a lot of kids get to see snow. So it's a great book for imagination for your little monsters. Our favorite part of the book is the jingly jangly hat and if you've checked out our blog you know that we've made jingly jangly hats for your little monsters and for Betty and the Yeti, little tiny ones for some small world play. So check it out and if you're not super creative and you can't knit or crochet you can easily buy just a plain white beanie and add some bells onto it. Your little monster will absolutely love it. Enjoy your day. Bye.